Kia ora, welcome to my happy place. If you like today's video, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment so I know that you've been, don't be shy, and please enjoy. Right, I am back with part two of my envelope journal. Um, this is how my um, front came out, and I'm hoping you can pick up the gold splatter in it. I'm very happy with it. Now, I'll just put this my needle and um, embroidery flosses uh, cotton is what I use to sew my journals. And I didn't sew it online because you've seen me do them before. And on this one, I just did a three hole pamph pamphlet stitch. And um, I've done both of them because right where is my journal when I made this journal which has ended out quite fat I actually had three signatures in it and what I did was I I sewed them individually like this and then I take, let's see, this page and this page and glue them together so that it basically becomes one signature. And this is how I've done this one. So I thought that I would carry on and do one exactly the same as that. So once I glue those together, which I will do now, I might as well just do it as I'm talking. This might be a very long video, but I just wanted to come back and show you how, that I, how I did it. Let's go right around. Now I'm not going to go over the um the little thing there because the glue tends to show up. Right, and when I do my envelopes, I do one window up and one window down so that I right now I'm lift them back up to this way butt them together like that so they're nice and even or as even as I can get them because you all know me I don't have very straight vision and then we just glue it together and that is my bone I've lost it haven't lost it, just misplaced it, so I will use this. And just squish them together like that. And that gives us our one signature. Right. Now, I put them here, like that. And I glue this piece to here. But before I do that, I'm just going to whip around the edge with some paint um, just to sort of bring the flow over from the other side. So I'll just squirt out a little bit of the green and make myself mucky already. And the yellow. A brush that's still sticking in the water of course from yesterday I'll just give that a bit of a wipe and I'm just going to go around the edge 
because it will find that it won't um, show much when I've finished but just to get the bits that do show done it just makes it consistent well you know as consistent as what I can be it started out a terrible terrible morning this morning it was wet and windy and just disgusting but the sun is coming up this afternoon just get a little bit more of that green so yes we're hoping that this nasty weather will disappear because shifting in the rain is not very nice but we think we might just hire a covered in um, trailer it's not we're not going to go far you know two or three blocks but don't want your stuff getting wet right now we're just going to put some yellow around over it this is going to be most probably more yellow than the than the um, front but I'm not worried about that I just want it to not be not painted <laughs> All right. I'm just trying not to get any of that muckiness on the um, front because I am liable to right so that's all I'm going to do so I'll just dry that off and clean up and I'll be back right I'm back and I'm not going to worry about doing any of the other decorations on it because as I say not much of it is going to show and um, it's just to make it look a little bit consistent now to clean my hands off before I use my sister's glue gun uh, heat gun because she's the neat freak of the family not me and um, I think she'd have a blue blind fit if I handed it back to her like I have mine with all paint and glue and whatever on it so right that's what we do and now this is going to go evenly on that side like that let's bring it in a bit so that I can see where I'm going to have it I'll have to turn it that way so I can see and then this will move over and you always get a little bit now what I'm going to do is just see if I can just round it a little bit so that it's not just a, a square because that is not what is going to happen it's going to round up so now we want to go there so that when we come over this way and it will push it there will always be a little bit that sticks out because my envelopes are torn but I'm okay with that and yep that's how I'm going to do it so what we're going to do is we are just going to find something I don't want to put glue on all the pages and have them sticking together before I start using it so we'll just put a little bit of plastic there and we can glue it all up just lift that up so we can glue that little bit down because it's just an envelope so there's always little bits lifting up on them but you always get lots of envelopes even if you it's not a bill or whatever it's something that um, they want you to buy they send you the thing and then they send envelopes in it and that is how I do mine now let's go back to the front of here 
Now I use that one, so I'll give it another one. And then I just squish that down like that. And that is the back all glued on. When we come to the front, there's a really, really simple um, journals to make. And I have, I think I've got four more lots of um, envelopes there, all in, all in their um, signatures, not sewing, but all in their signatures, just waiting to go into journals. I just haven't got around to it. Right, so that is that all glued up. So now we will give this a good gluing. Right, and now we just come over this way and push you down here. Pull you out. Stuck to the other one already, and it does leave a little bit of a channel on in the spine that is not glued down, but that makes it easier for um, turning the pages right. And that is how you make well, this is how I make my signatures and you can see as they fall they just fall that little bit different but it gives you plenty of room for laying it out flat for doing your pages and it rolls over and that is it so I know everybody has these so if you're into junk journaling or just glue booking It's as easy as that. And if I can do it, anybody can do it. And I just go through them and just glue up the little bits that are... <coughs> excuse me, my voice is going today. Just glue down all those little bits where they stick up. And um, you will have an envelope journal. And I'll be looking forward to using that one. Thank you for being with me. Kia kaha, stay strong, and I'll catch you again soon.